You're probably wondering what on earth they're doing. Well, this is a warm-up. And now it's done, it's... In the wings, a quick warm-up. My friend, you're like a Ferrari. Speedy and smooth, just like me. That is your opening line, man. That's good luck. Favorite. That's a whopper. Mm -hmm. That's a real whopper. Tell me your line and what you've got to do. Hello, my name is Bonnie. My dream job is to be a flosser. A flosser? <laughs> so, so, oh, she's gone. She's gone. What are you nervous about? If I do a mistake. You do, if you do a mistake, you won't do a mistake. Trust me, I'm a journalist. You won't make a mistake. So what are they all up to? Well, this week, Brampton School hasn't seen a single lesson. Instead, they've made a musical from scratch. <laughs> Jeremy, where did you learn to dance like and move like that? Um, I am self-taught, really. Is and that what you're going to do when you grow up? Yeah, I might if my other job fails, it's just to be a basketball player. <laughs> This whole week has been run by a charity arts initiative and they've been funded by the Andrew Lloyd Webber Foundation. They've learned things I think that they didn't even know they could do and the teachers will have seen things that they would never have thought their children could do and I think everyone now will now look and set the benchmark a little bit higher. From the costumes to the lights to the marketing, the kids have done it all and pulled it off. Show me like some of your actions you were doing. You were... Yeah. They've got the point. So Brilliant, I was really gripped. <laughs> Honestly, I think that during the rehearsal, everything went in quite a lot better. Do you actually have an Italian accent? I don't know. <laughs> For a moment there, I actually thought... <laughs> Rohan, you've got the best job, you're on the smoke machine. Yep. Can I have another puff for, my, uh, for the end of my report? Yeah, sure. Good man. Oh, to press that button. Does it feel good pressing that? Yeah. <laughs> Sally Williams, ITV News, Bexley Heath.